Good evening. It's Friday night. And yes, I am a few minutes late here tonight. I'm very sorry. Racing around like a mad thing today without my, you know, like a head with, what is it? A chalk with his head cut off. <sighs> there you go. <laughs> it's just been one of those funny days. Productive. Good. And I had a great day, but, um, but busy. Anyway, hope everyone's had a great week. Uh, we're all looking forward to the weekend. Hey there, Jean. How are you? Nice to see you. Um, so, I'm um, popping in here to make a card with you tonight. And as many of you would know, our retiring list, discontinuing list of products is almost at an end, which means the last year's annual catalogue is almost done. Monday is the last day for that. Um, so anything that you need to get out of that one that is not continuing on, you'll need to grab it now, otherwise it's gone. Um, but month, on Tuesday, Tuesday the 4th, we have a brand new catalogue. So that's really, really cool because um, a lot of my customers have been getting them in their in the post. Um, so I hope that whoever you are, you have your hands on one. If you don't and you would like one and you don't already have a demonstrator, please contact me and I'll make sure we get one out to you. So um, do that, please. Hey, Kay, how are you? Nice to see you there. All right, I'm just going to bring this up on my computer so that um, I can see your comments there. There we go. Now I can see them. Oh, hi, Renee. How are you doing? <laughs> All right. So let's pop this camera around. I'm going to show you some current stuff, some discontinuing stuff, and tonight we're going to show you some new stuff as well. So it's going to be out sort of a something old, something new without the wedding theme. Okay, let's see how we go. I'll get this camera switched around. Here we go. All right. Getting a bit more smooth at getting the camera switched around. I probably shouldn't say that too soon because, you know, things sometimes happen. There we go. All sorted out. All right, everyone see that okay? All right. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have. This is the, cat the new catalog that's coming on the 4th, which is next Tuesday. And this is the one that's saying goodbye. Okay, so if you have this catalog currently, there is a lot of things in this that will not be continued on to the next catalog. Um, and um, there is a list available for you, but also if you go into the online store, so that's by clicking the blue Shop Now button on my Facebook page, um, or on my blog, I have a Shop Now button on both, um, you can go and shop, and there is actually a last chance list, which will bring up everything that's retiring out of here. A lot of them are marked down. You can get some really, really great bargains on things that um, haven't yet sold out. So definitely go along. And there's a couple of items that um, one in particular that I'm really surprised hasn't sold out. I'm going to sh uh, show you that again tonight. Um, so I thought I'd have a little play with a couple of things. In the back of this one here, in our dies, where is it? Uh, this way. The good thing about the dies, if you don't realize this, is that they put the, the current die bundles first, the ones that are bundled together with stamp sets and so, so forth in this in each catalog and then after that they list all the rest of the dies in alphabetical order so if ever you're looking for one you go looking for um, the go looking by alphabet so what I'm looking for is the stitch lace we did make a card with this last week do you guys remember that we made a card last week hang on I'll just grab it this is the one we made the other night a Mother's Day card and I actually brayed the brayers are also discontinuing <laughs> Um, I brayed over it to get this lovely ombre look from like from white up here down to purple down the bottom. So it turned out pretty nice. So that was last week's card, or one of them. So tonight I have cut this out again. Um, I didn't. Do, I already had this ready to go because I didn't think you'd want to see me cut this and then um, push all the pieces out. Can I just make a suggestion? If you do have this die, or if you're planning on getting it before it goes. Um, make sure you also have a die brush. Um, now we do have a die brush tip that sits on the end of our take your pick tool. So that's this one. Okay. This makes this die so much easier. So when you cut this out, not all the pieces will fall out. There'll, there'll still be a lot of pieces in here. But then we put our die brush. We get our die brush. Hang on a second. Getting my bits and pieces. It comes with a, with a mat. 
we pop this on and then we run this over the top and any pieces that have not yet fallen out will fall out okay it's actually almost essential to use a die brush with this die so look even a few more fell out then that I that I didn't know needed to fall out so there we go but this is called stitch lace it has it's two pieces it's the big shape that we've got here and also then there's this little piece here that cuts out along so it cuts out like a loopy edge out of this die and makes it even more useful so that's really great but I've been using this one a bit lately because it's something I don't think I got enough use out of while I had it um, sometimes I buy things because I really really like them and then they sit on the shelf because I get distracted playing with other stuff and then I come back to it and think why didn't I use that more it's so pretty so this is definitely one of those I wish I had used it more but that's how it goes now the other thing that I wanted to I have also even though we did this one before I'm going to use it again tonight with something new that I think looks really lovely with it um, and then the stitch nested labels are the other thing so they're where are they I think they're here I've got them on my desk they're these dies these that make these lovely shapes with the stitching and it's a double stitching die so it does the stitching on the inside as well as the outside so when I open these up you can see lots and lots of different nested shapes great for doing things that you need nested shapes for for example diorama cards I use them quite a bit for that um, very very handy but tonight I've already gone ahead and cut myself a shape I've cut this one so that's the one that I'm going to use now I've got a bit of a plan in my head for the card that I want to make but we're going to mix these two things these two discontinuing things are going to be mixed with some brand new things and that'll give us this is the only time that I can make things with a combination of new and old because pre-order has arrived I started to get some of my new things um, so demonstrators are lucky they get to have um, they get to or pre-order the stuff so before it goes live to customers demonstrators can get their hands on quite a lot of the stuff that we have available um, so I already have some and that's what I'm going to show you some of tonight but whilst we're still in the retiring period I also still have access to these so the only time I get to mix old and new things really is in this pre-order retiring weird time if that makes sense Oh, you're on your iPad, Beryl. I'm so pleased. Do you prefer to go by Beryl or Beryl Jean? If you could let me know that, I want to call you the right thing. So, um... <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're good, Renee. That's great. And hello, Elizabeth. Nice to see you. I'm just going through my comments. Hey, Denise. Hi, Deb. How are you going? Denise, we need a copy soon, honey. We haven't seen each other for a while. Oh, you got your new catalogue, Deb. Yay! I'm so glad. Hi Michelle, have you checked your mailbox again? You probably don't check it all that often, do you? It's a PO box, right? So you don't want to be racing in there every day. But at the moment it might be worth it if the new catalogue sitting in there over the weekend. You don't want that. Okay, alright. So is everyone ready for us to, to go? So this is the new catalogue. Now I'm not until this goes live, I'm not supposed to show paid the inside pages. It's just it's just a little rule that Stampin' Up! has. There's a number of reasons why, but um, but I'm not supposed to show you the inside. So as people are getting their catalogues, you'll be able to look at the inside anyway. And what I wanted to play to play with tonight is some bits from the Petal Pansy Suite. Okay, Because um, I thought that would look really nice with these things. And once again, we could go with a Mother's Day theme if we wanted to. Because I think the Pansy Petals work really, really well for... Um, it's... it's they've got kind of a an old-fashioned look to me pansies I just they just do so I'm going to show you some of those bits and pieces um, but yeah by all means if you haven't got one of these and you're in Australia and you don't have a demonstrator reach out and I'll make sure that you can get one all right so let's have a little look at what's in the the pansy petals suite there's this stamp set which is called pansy patch for obvious reasons this is the central central part of the suite really and you've got all these great layering pieces so you can build up your date your sorry not daisies pansies um, with any colors that you choose now the cool thing that I something I did I'm actually going to be doing a YouTube video this week on how to use the dies because there is a lot of dies in the set here they are here I'm trying to remember how many dies there are 
I can't remember offhand. I can sit here and count them, but we won't worry about that. There's lots. Um, even though they're only on one sheet, and they're all they've all got like different roles to play. So, for example, you can there's um these two, this one and this one, cut out the two different size leaves, and then this one and this one layer over the top of those. So I'll show you. Here's one I prepared earlier. Okay, see what I mean? So I've got my my die underneath and then I've got my layering die on top to make like a, a layered leaf if that makes sense so it gives you an idea so to be honest when I was playing with these today it's a little bit like doing a puzzle um, and it's quite satisfying putting them together so I did also put together um, a pansy okay this is just a this was actually my first attempt at playing playing with um, these so this big one here is actually this piece down here at the bottom, the yellow, and then I've layered this piece over the top. Can you see how that works? And then I ended up um, using, <laughs> believe it or not, I was looking for my foam sheets and I couldn't find them, so I actually cut a dimensional into a circle, not with scissors, but actually with the die, and then covered it in gold leaf just to make a, a gold centre. So that was something I did that was a little bit different. Um, the pieces at the back, uh, this this piece here, this one is is these two pieces is this die, and then I've got an edge here that goes around the top of it. So you can see they're quite intricate, but they're kind of satisfying to play with. They're kind of like you feel like like I said, it's like doing a puzzle and putting the pieces together, and you can choose your different colours and build it up. But I'll probably spend more talking time talking about these dies. On the YouTube video that I'm going to dedicate to how the dies work okay so just wanted to give you a bit of an introduction you can see this funny little piece here that's this little white piece that I added here um, something I did do as I went to Pinterest and I looked up pansies just the word pansies and got hundreds of images of different kinds of pansies which actually makes it really helpful to put them together and what colors to use that kind of thing so anyway, it gives you a bit of an introduction to how it might work. Does that make sense? Then we've got the paper. The paper's in the suite as well. Now the nice thing I've noticed uh, about the new catalogue is that we've had suites for a long time where you can order a bundle, you can order paper or whatever, different components of the suite. But if you wanted everything in the suite, um, which is usually in the past been five or six items, um, it was a fairly substantial investment. It did, it did work out cheaper if you wanted everything to bundle them together and get the suite. But what I've noticed is they've actually in this catalogue put less items in each suite. So the suites are a better price point um, that, you know, okay, it's going to maybe cost 90 something dollars for the stamps and the dies, but for not that much more than that, you can get the paper and whatever else might be in the suite as well. So in this case, there is only four items in this suite. So there's the stamps and the dies that I've just shown you. There's the paper that I'm about to show you. And there's also these cute little things. These are the bumblebee trinkets. So these have, can you see, let me see if I'm holding this. Am I holding this in the right spot? Where am I? I think that's right. <laughs> can you see? It's so, so cute. They are super, super sweet. There's 20 of them in there, little little gold bumblebees, just gorgeous. So they're going to be, they're going to be, they're part of this suite. Okay, so of course you can buy all the items separately, no problems at all. But if you decide you're going to buy the whole suite, it's actually quite reasonably priced. And you would get the paper as well. And I like the paper for a couple of reasons. First of all, if you look at the paper, the colours that are in here, for anyone who, can anyone see what's special? about these oh michelle you're at glennon's away for the weekend but it's cold up there is it cold hopefully not snowing oh you prefer beryl thank you for answering that question and coffee sounds good yes it does um yeah i like the pansy set too i wasn't sure hi helen you're welcome home to new south wales welcome to welcome back um okay so can anyone notice anything about the colors in this paper does that look familiar to anybody? I'll wait, because I'm sure somebody's going to notice. <laughs> anybody can answer. Nope. 
maybe if I start to go through the paper you'll get but I think this this sheet actually probably exactly Beryl that's exactly right these are the new in colors okay so you've got your your background is the evening evergreen and then you've got your all your different colors and here they are right here okay so I've got all my colors out all right so we've got soft succulent polished pink pale papaya evening evergreen and fresh freesia okay these five and I just think as in colors go I love the way they look all together okay I just think they're absolutely beautiful when you put them together and it's an interesting selection but to me a good test hey Kerry nice to see you there um, the good test of the colors is when um, they you can pick any two or three and they're gonna look good together okay so I could pick so you know if I put, put these three together they, they look pretty nice if I put, put these three together they look nice and so on you know like you can really select any way and if they all look good that's that, that to me is a, the test of a good in color set so that's how I always look at them and these ones work really really well when you put them all together okay have a quick look through the paper with me so you can see um, this is the yellow is bumblebee so um, that's in there as well so it's all the in colors plus there's some other colors as well so there's blackberry bliss um, in here we've got soft sea foam and the soft succulent and then the evening evergreen so we've got our three greens and you see we've got some a couple of pieces of gingham gingham paper you can see I've cut them up already and so on so we've got some peach gingham really really nice now the nice thing is that these ones here the leaves cut out with the dies okay that's important to know um, so and these ones these pansies also cut out with the dies so even if you didn't have the stamp set you could still make the dies and the paper work okay so um, sometimes I like to use the paper because it gives me a little bit of a it's quick and easy and it gives me a little bit of a unique look that I might not be able to get if I was doing stamping or conversely I can get different looks from stamping than what I can get with the paper too so it just gives you more options um, which I think is really nice right I'll just put that aside for a sec um, the other colours that are in this paper, apart from the five new colours that I showed you, are Soft Sea Foam, Calypso Coral, Bumblebee, and Blackberry Bliss. Just looking at my ink pads and thinking, I need to clean those. They're a bit, they're a bit, that's a bit embarrassing. They're a bit um, grubby. I need to give them a wipe over. Oh, that's what happens when you work hard, right? All right, so I have got a piece of fresh freesia cardstock. This is one of the new colors it's actually it's actually this color right here and it's kind of it is more of a lilac i think what i would call a lilac and i'm just going to grab my bone folder and fold that over all right and i'm thinking this time we'll go landscape and i've got my piece of white here all ready to go now the question is how do you pop this down because of the um, the weight of the paper, you can actually use um, almost any adhesive. But if you don't want, like for example, I'll just do it in the middle so you can see. If I was to use seal, okay, so I've put that on the back there. It is it is actually sticky. I can't feel the adhesive from this side at all. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. It doesn't come through to the other side, but if I was to push on it really hard, I might get a little bit of stick coming through. But if I run my fingers over it, it doesn't feel sticky. So um, it's up to you if you want to do that. Another option would be glue dots, maybe two in each or one in each corner, and then maybe two along the long side. Um, that would be another way to do them. So, you know, easy enough to pop those on. Um, I'm still struggling with the whole concept of the glue dots now being on the other side of the roll. <laughs> Anyone else has had that discovery? It's, um, it's a change that I just was not prepared for. I thought I knew what to do with my glue dots, but they've now moved them to the other side. Ah, oh well. <laughs> and I am kind of picking um, more solid pieces to put my glue dots onto. So that would work as well. So let's put that just here. We'll center it into the middle of our piece of lilac 
cardstock, which is now going to be like a card base. And because the colour, because of the holes, whatever colour you're using will actually come through the paper a bit and add to the design of this. Alright, so I'm going to have this piece here right in the middle. And I've been deciding, I mean, I could if I wanted to, if I wanted to use a flower like this one that I've already made, I could add it with some, you know, with some little leaves maybe and put a sentiment on there and that would be actually a really nice card all right very simple to do um, once you've put your pansy together of course but i'm not doing that tonight i thought tonight we might actually do a little bit of stamping and then see where that takes us okay so um in the catalog there's some really lovely samples if you really get stuck for colors you could follow the colors that are in those samples also the colors that are in the paper that we just looked at that's also quite inspirational for colors so for example i could look at these ones and think oh yeah i like these these purple pansies so i'm going to go with the combination of fresh freesia and uh black bliss and white with a little yellow center i noticed they put yellow centers in most of them or darker centers in the yellow in the yellow pansies so um I mean yellow will work gold will work you've got a whole range of different options so let's get our pansies going and see what we can do hi helen how are you doing i'm glad you got your new catalog that's very exciting have you had time to look at it yet that's the only problem with a new catalog finding the time to sit down and look at it right always seems to be the problem all right so I have got so these these are what we call a two-step stamp well in this case it's probably more like a three-step or a four-step but we call them two-step stamps if they require more than one one layer okay so I'm going to put these two down and I haven't decided what color pansies I'm going to go with yet but I guess we'll work that out as we go along I guess and then there is actually just a, um, a simple like there's also smaller ones maybe I'll put them all on blocks just these two grab another grab another block start for some blocks all right so I haven't decided exactly what colors I want to go with but I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna start I do like a bit of yellow in my pansy so I'm gonna start with those and then this one one has more detail than the other so I'm starting with the one with less detail which it makes sense to me it goes on the bottom actually I'm just gonna grab a a mat right behind me because I don't want to stand I want a nice soft surface to stamp on there we go didn't think of that before I started all right let's try and see how this goes so this is the bumblebee if you're wondering what yellow I'm using you could probably go with any yellow and it does actually have a little bit of tone um, tone on tone in it so there's some darker and lighter bits of that stamp but now I'm going to go up to a, like a more of a detail stamp and I think I will use the deciding if I want to go blackberry bliss here yeah, I think I do let's try blackberry bliss so I'm working with the colors that are in the paper even though I'm not I don't have to but all right I need to bring my head in over this so I can line it up straight so excuse me for a moment while I do that and I think this is one of those stamps I guess I'm going to find out where if you don't get it quite straight it's okay no that doesn't look too bad all right so now I've got this um, white center here and you can see we've got some a little bit of um, like a smaller piece here the, so there's different size pieces to add to the center so just let me 
have a little look. Are they on here? Nope, they're on the other one, which is still in here. Okay, here they are down here. And I'm thinking maybe this might be nice with the freesia. So let's give that a try. I'm making it up as I go along, so... Hey Nadia, how you doing? Hi Heather, nice to meet you here. Alright, so let's give this one a try. And sorry, I'm going to line this up again with my head in the cup picture. I think, you know, this will be fun to experiment with and work out along the way which, um, which colours look good with what. Um, but one thing, I, like I said earlier, I went to Pinterest, I put in the word pansies and I had so many, so many different types of pansies pop up. It made me think, you know, the colour schemes are really quite endless with this. Okay, it needed that little piece, that really actually brought it together. And then I'm wondering, I have got like a little, I have a little centre. But what might look nice, but I wouldn't want to do this until, is I could put in a, oh yeah, I think a gold, a gold um, little gem would be nice, but I would want to cut it out. I want to actually put it through my Big Shot or my uh, cutting machine before I, like I don't want to put those on yet. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm thinking I might do. And we've also got some little stems here and we actually can also make some little buds which are kind of cute so let's do a smaller one and see how that looks so this one is what color will we do this time guys um maybe this time i'll do the base in the freesia or i could have also done the um the papaya, that would be nice. So I might do, quickly clean this off and do another one in the papaya and we'll see how that turns out. This is a really nice colour. I'm liking it a lot. It might be my favourite in colour at the moment. But it's like, it reminds me of Peekaboo Peach but it's a bit lighter than Peekaboo Peach. But I did really love that colour. Let me pull in a bit of detail here. I'm going to pull this one on. So you can see these are a bit of fun. I'll try doing this over the top. See how they kind of, see how they come together? It's kind of cute, huh? Um, now, I'm just thinking though, I think I would want to use, if I can find a very small one, um, the smallest of these little these little guys might look good in the middle of that. I'm just deciding whether that will look better. I think that's the one I already used. Alright, let's try it. If it doesn't look any good, then I won't do the other one. Hmm, with or without, I think it looks better. I'm going to do it. Yeah, it does look better. Alright. So, I've got those bits and pieces. So you can kind of see how these build up. The stamps in themselves are really, really pretty, but the um, the dies are really amazing. And you can, like I said, you can cut out these because that's what I'm going to do now. But you can also, as you saw earlier, also make the lovely pansy pieces just by layering all them all on top of each other. And it really is like doing a puzzle. Okay, so these are going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you don't like fiddly then this might not be for you but if this there are people and I know I'm somewhere in the middle sometimes I really can't be bothered with fiddly and sometimes I just want to do like simple stamping a really simple project um, however there are people that absolutely love all the fussing around that goes with like putting together 
die pieces and that sort of thing. Um, as I've been playing with these, I am enjoying them. Um, I was wondering if I'd bitten off more than I could chew, but actually they're fun. So if you think of it as kind of like doing a puzzle, but with um, a little bit, you know, you get a card at the end, <laughs> not just not just a puzzle on the table. So, um, all right, so let's open these up. This is my little mini die cut machine. I love it. Um, the thing I have discovered is when I go to put these through, I need to make sure these are all lined up because if they're not all lined up like a sandwich so that the two pieces of bread top and bottom are not all lined up at the end sometimes it has a hard time getting through so um, that's something to bear in mind so I put down number one first number two that's lined up with number one then I put down my pieces of paper that I'm going to be cutting out and I've cut my paper at three and a half inches wide or about nine centimeters because that's the width of the small machine the big machine you can go up to about you can go up to six inches no problems but the small machine you need to keep it down to about three and a half so here are my two dies that cut out the shapes of my pansies so this one is going to cut out this one and this one's going to cut out this one now I don't currently have a magnetic plate for this. If I did, um, I would probably use it because I hate it when they move, but if I'm careful, they won't. I'm just gonna push it down to hold it. And what I'm waiting for is for my handle to start to move because when it does, that means it's taken, it's grabbing onto the, the, die, the plates and I can, it's gonna take it through. So if you push it in and your handle doesn't move, then it's not grabbing. And you just need to make sure that your plates are all lined up at the ends. Okay, let's see how that worked. So now I have a little pansy here and a little pansy here. All right, and I might even go back and cut this one. Hopefully this is giving you some ideas about how this whole thing works. And then I'm going to put my cards together in a minute. I will have to cut some leaves, of course. So put these on here, make sure they line up. This one goes on top. I'm going to run that one through. Where's my, here it is, my top plate. Grabs and wind it through. The mini machine is so much better for my small desk. Um, my big machine is my workhorse and I use it for all my heavy duty cutting. But this one is great for when I just need to do, um, like if I'm traveling or if I'm, and you know, they're a great price point. They're only a hundred and, I think it's a hundred and four dollars from memory, but it's thereabouts anyway, right around that price. It's under a hundred and five. And I think that's a great price for a great little machine that will do all this cutting for you. Just bear in mind though, it only does the narrower pieces. If you want something that's going to do wider pieces, then the big one's for you. All right, so let's see what we've got here. We've got three, three little pansies. I haven't been looking at my comments for a while. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. That's very nice. Hey, Fran, how are you going? Keeping busy and not too cold up there, down there, I should say, over there. <laughs> okay all right so let's see what we have so what i'm wanting to do i've got my i've got my card base all ready to go i've got my stitch nested shape now i could of course also stamp straight onto here but tonight we elected not to do that um, i'm deciding where i want this to go And then I think maybe that might look good. And then, of course, a leaf would be really great. Now, what I thought I might do is actually cheat a little bit. I could stamp them and cut them out, or I could just use these ones that I prepared earlier. And that's probably what I want to do tonight. And the leaves really do make all the difference, don't they? So if it's going to look something like this, okay, something like that. Let's move that out of the way. 
what I do want to do is I want to have a little look and see what sentiment I want to use. So we've got some nice ones. It says, the little things you do make such a big difference. Love you much. Wishing you a little happiness, little extra happiness just because you're you. Thank you, happy birthday, and a little hello from me to you. I don't want to use this one because that's going to be probably too long. I'm after a shorter one. I might just go with the thank you because that's nice and simple. And you can never have enough thank you cards in my opinion. I think thank you cards are probably one of the most versatile cards. And one of the ones I use the most. I send out, I actually did a mail out today of um, some thank yous for orders. And um, they went, they hit the post today. So if uh, you haven't heard, if you placed an order but haven't heard from me for a while, yours might be in that group. Alright, let me just... Starting where I would like it to be. That's a thank you there. Now I'm going to pop these on their dimensionals. Not all of them. The big one I'd like on dimensionals. Because then I can slide the little guys in underneath. So if I just put a couple of dimensionals right in the middle, that gives me plenty of sliding room around the edges. So let me let me see. Okay, just that one there. And then I've got this little guy. I'm just going to give him a little bit of um, adhesive just there. doesn't need much because I just want him to sort of sit in underneath. And then this little guy here. So same again, just a little bit of adhesive. And then we're going to put, so this, the colours of these leaves, I've got the soft succulent is the green underneath, the lighter green, and the evening evergreen is the dark. The evening evergreen is a really interesting colour to me because we haven't had, I don't think we've ever had a green that dark, um, certainly not for a long time. Once upon a time we had a colour called Handsome Hunter, if anyone's been around long enough to remember that. Right, so... I'm thinking that looks really quite nice. All right, so let's add. I'm going to add a large one here to the big pansy. And I'm going to use uh, the medium-sized ones in the center of the smaller pansies. There we go. That's looking nice. And I'm going to wax some dimensionals on the back. How we go. Oh, really? It's nice down there? <laughs> That's nice. Are you liking this, Denise? So this is this is actually I didn't get this set in my very first pre-order because I wasn't sure how I was gonna how I was gonna like it. But I do, I really do. Right, so it still needs something. And I think that is probably going to be some of this open weave ribbon. And I'm just deciding how... I mean, I could have a piece just going across here. Like I could actually have this going underneath these guys, lift them up a little bit and have it coming out here. That would look nice. Or I could tie a bow. Let's tie a bow and see how that looks. Oh, thanks, Joan. Appreciate that. It's nice just being able to use the new colours together. I'm, as soon as I saw them, that was, I just could not wait to put them all together, which we've used most of them on this card. The only one I haven't used is the pink, which to me seemed like a little bit too, too dark or too something, too pink. <laughs> um, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I think I will stick with the bow, guys, and use my... Now tonight, I won't be able to go over onto my private page like I normally do and do another card because I have a couple of children I have to go and pick up. So I'm not going to be able to hang out on the other page tonight. But don't worry. Um, I'll be there again sometime really soon. And actually, um, tonight, tomorrow night, uh, for anyone who's watching who's in my team, if you haven't seen already, we're having a games night tomorrow night, girls. So if you're in the group... Um, you might want to might, might, might check that out because it should be fun 
Um, and that's, that's online on Zoom. I think most people have sort of got used to using Zoom in this past, this past year. There we go. I'm actually pretty happy with that. That's turned out really, really nice. So this is... It's not my first card I've made with the Pansy set. I've actually done a couple of cards for different purposes already. I did uh, did one for my Master Stamper group for anyone who's um, who's interested in that. That's uh, a subscription site where you get new tutorials every week and you get um, instructions and ideas and a bit of fun, a special Facebook group, a whole bunch of things, and that's fifteen dollars a month. That's fifteen dollars, uh, yeah, fifteen dollars a month. And I think I'm just thinking, is that US? It might be US. Um, but then also, I made um, another. I made another little project for an upcoming uh, launch that I'm doing. I'm starting to make launch projects, so that's exciting. If you aren't booked into one of my launches, I've got a Zoom launch on the 22nd, and I've got a studio launch here at home on Saturday the 15th, and I do still have spaces left. So if anyone wants to come along, um, that would be great. How did we go? Do you like this little card? Thank you. I'm glad you like it. The laser cut DSP. Uh, it's which one? Is do you mean the the gold the in, in the Forever Greenery set, Michelle? Too bright. Which was too bright? The the colors are too bright, too dark. Maybe. <laughs> Tell me which one you think is too bright. Um. Or is it the pink that's too bright? Oh, I'm glad you like it. I did another card with um, the card I did for Master Stamper this week. That tutorial is actually um, it uses the gingham paper and and the pansies. And I just I loved. I'm calling it my country pansy card. It turned out really really pretty. I was really really happy with it. So yes, this paper is retiring. The stitch lace. Um, sorry, it's not paper. It's actual. Um, it's an actual die die set, and these stitched nested. Um, these are also marked down, so they were sixty one dollars, and they're down to forty fifty four ninety. Um, now that was when I checked earlier. I hope it's still there. But if anyone is hoping to get that, you want to go on and grab it because it it's going to be gone. <laughs> the one that is white. Uh, are you thinking of the dragonfly one in the mini catalog? Is that the one you mean? The laser cut paper. Let me see. It might be the dragonfly one that you're thinking of that's in this here. Here it is. This is in the mini. So this is the, the one with the dragonflies and, and the branches and things like that. Is that the one you mean, Michelle? It's on page 25 of the mini catalogue, if that is. Um, the mini catalogue is not retiring yet. Um, we still have another month with this because, or a month, of, two months really, because this goes right through until June. Okay, so it goes through until there should be a date on here somewhere, the 30th of June. Okay, so anything that's in here, even though we'll know what's retiring because we know what's in the big catalogue already because they've done a bit of a shuffle around with the catalogue timing this year. But um, if there's anything in here that's not in that new catalogue, yes, it's retiring. And yes, I think the the, that paper is from memory, but I will double check for you. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Yep, that is the one you meant. I thought so. Alright, so there you go guys. We made a card. Um, you won't find me over on the private group, the VIP group tonight, only because um, I, like I said, I have to go pick up a couple of kitties. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed making that with me. Um, there's lots more to come. Like I said, I'm going to have a YouTube video going up about how to use the dies um, because I think the dies are really amazing. Um, and that will be up in the next week or two on my YouTube channel. Okay. If anyone has time on Sunday night, pop along and watch me live on Sunday night. And um, just really, really quickly, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for my Mother's Day class. Um, I did put a sneak peeks of those projects up. And there is actually a code... I actually wrote down before I started. I have two codes going at the moment. I have an online code for the month of April. That one will end tonight. Um, but you can still use that code if you want to. Um, and that, that code, you can see it here on this piece of paper, but um, it's WWAS4QGQ. Those are Q's, Michelle, just so you know. 
poor Michelle, when I originally um, posted this on a on a um, on my Facebook page, I had actually put a line under here, and it actually got rid of the little lines under the Q's, and it, so they look like O's, not Q's. And she was trying to get the code to work, and it just wouldn't work for her, but it wasn't her fault. Um, okay, and then the Mother's Day code. If you want to get in on the Mother's Day class where I send you those pieces, um, there's a separate code for that. So it's PZXZC6AM. And you think, where do these numbers come from? I have no idea. They're computer generated. I don't get to pick them. I'd probably pick something really weird if I did pick something. So if anyone is ordering tonight, please use the April code. And then tomorrow, as of tomorrow, I'll have a new code for May. Okay, so, all right. Um, let's see how we go. I will talk to you all soon and uh, back Sunday night and of course on Facebook just about every day. See you soon people. Have a great evening and have a great weekend. Bye bye.